Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix a cropped image. Hello guys, welcome to Himalaya Studio. My name is Bosch. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram as Himalaya Studio. So today I'm going to show you guys how to fix a cropped image. Okay, let's jump into the image and get started. Okay, so uh, let's have a look uh, at the image first. So as you can see, um, this is a family photo and the dad, dad's food is uh, cropped. So to fix this, I'm going to use, I'm going to replace his food by using this image here, the number 307. Okay, so uh, firstly, I'm going to press command A and command C. Copy paste this layer into our uh, new background layer and command V. So, uh, okay, let's turn off this layer uh, for a minute and make, uh, double click on the background layer to unlock. Uh, I still I rename it to background. B A C K G R background. Press OK and okay. Next, I'm going to using uh, the crop tool, which you can find here. The crop tool here to make this uh, this picture a little bit bigger. Okay, uh, maybe that's too too big. Okay, here, press return. And nice, I'm going to use the the paint bucket to uh, to fill color into into the um, the um, into a empty layer. So uh, let's create an empty empty layer. And press press you can you can press G or just find the here paint bucket too. Let's press Option to select select a color around here, which is similar to the background. Okay, press it and drag it under the background layer. Okay. Okay. Next, turn on uh, this layer and zoom out a little bit and press press V, move to to move this layer. Okay, and we uh, I'm going to decrease the opacity of this layer to fifty percent. Yeah, fifty five percent. Here, and we need to so the idea is uh, we have to make uh, the new food exactly the same position um, of the original photo so um, I think we need to, to to make it bigger yeah little bit bigger okay um, maybe a little bit more I think somewhere around here. Let's do it. Yeah. Some more. Need to change a little bit. Okay. Yep, I think that's pretty good. Okay, let's press return and change the opacity back to 100%. And we're going to uh, create a layer mask on this layer one and command I to inverse this layer. Let's zoom in a little bit. Little bit. Okay, press B for brush and we're going to paint on a uh, on white color. Make sure the opacity is 100%. So I'm just doing a, a quick pen, quick pen, and so 
So the, the more time you spend, the better result you're gonna get. Okay, so um, and this tra transaction line is print printed out. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's zoom out. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, uh, as you can see, um, this background, the background layer and uh, um, our layer one, the color is different. So, um, okay, so to fix this, we we need to um, combine the, all the layers together. So, command option shift and E. So, combine all the layer together, and then we're gonna use um, the brush tool. We're still using the brush tool, and we're gonna select select your color very similar color here and we increase make it bigger the brush bigger and we are uh, we are painting on, uh, on on this transition line here here yeah so me a little bit Zoom in. You can see you can see this the different color here. Here here. Okay, that's look pretty good to me and uh, we uh, let's go in let's zoom out. So uh, this is before and this is after. Okay, so the color is still not perfect, so we're going to uh, to light up the background by using uh, the curves. Okay, let's increase the curve. Okay, here is pretty good. Okay, we're gonna paint um, on black color because we don't want we don't want to make the the people the subject too uh, too light. So we're going to paint the the people back. Here and his feet. So be a little bit and Okay, uh, so uh, let's have a look before and after, before and after, okay. And here. Okay, we are done. So uh, this is our uh, final image. You can see uh, we, uh, let's see the difference. This is our before and this is after. Okay, thank you guys. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. So uh, as you can see, uh, layer mask is very important, important tool and it's very useful that can be used in many different ways in Photoshop. So if you guys have any questions, please leave me a comment and uh, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. In many different ways.